Welcome back to Upside Down Data. We really need to talk about HBAR. So of course the market is blowing up while I'm traveling, but I wanted to make sure to talk about this because this is an important moment. This is the moment that we've really all been waiting for. Anyone who's been watching HBAR for a while, it has been so depressing, frankly, since the last cycle, just a lot of down. And even in points where we got some hope, it just got dashed and we went back down again. But this seems much different. You can see that we're already getting back up to the levels that were at the highs of the last cycle, and it's not showing many signs of slowing down just yet. So I wanna talk about is when might we spot that top when it's forming? So we can look back at last cycle, and it doesn't mean that it would have to be the ultimate cycle top, right? We had a notable local top back here in March of 2021, pretty deep correction, actually a really good buying opportunity before the actual all-time high, where that would be the ultimate distribution point before we went off into the bear market. So it seems like right now is a pretty good analog to what we saw back here in December, January, going into March. Now this is more violent. This is a lot quicker than we saw it here, actually. This rally taking longer to get to those same levels than what we're seeing right now, but a similar general type of analog where we might be nearing at least an intermediate peak, kind of a first peak of the cycle. Maybe we have some correction, it doesn't have to be as deep as we saw last time before we go back up again. So what I wanna talk about to think about when can we spot that forming? When can we really think that maybe an intermediate peak like that is forming is to look at a few of our different models that we have here at the channel. So the first one I wanna talk about is our upside downside potential indicator or UDPI. This is one of our risk models that we have here. So high values mean high risk, low values mean low risk. This is the long-term version of the model. And you see it does a really good job of identifying when HBAR is getting pretty high risk versus when it is quite low risk. So of course, going into this big explosive move, it was very low risk, you'll notice down here, all the way down the negative fours, negative five is the lowest point on the scale. But now it is blasted off and we're in fact all the way up at actually the highest point on the scale here. It goes all the way up to five. Now it's important to understand what that means. And I say this all the time and I'll say it again because I think it's really important to know this. Risk should always be interpreted in context. You shouldn't just look at the number without taking into consideration the context. And really what we're in right now is the parabolic phase of the bull market. We are in this phase of the market. That's where we are right now. And HBAR is one of the early movers, is one of the early moving altcoins along with assets like XRP, for example. But this is where we are. And so let's not get it twisted. And that's where when you see a rally that is strong, really what this high UDPI level is telling you goes back to actually what the UDPI is actually telling you. We call it a risk model because that's just easier to understand for a lot of people. But really what the UDPI is getting at is upside potential relative to downside potential. And so when you see it at a really low levels, that means that it just sees way more upside potential that's plausible than downside potential. That's what it's saying, basically. And then the opposite is when you're at the top, when you're at these higher ends of the scale, saying that it sees a lot more downside potential than upside potential. But it's never saying that there's no more upside potential or no more downside potential when you're at those extreme levels. It's just that it's saying it's very much imbalanced that basically down here, the odds are very heavy in your favor. Here, the odds are against you, but it's not saying this impossible. And so that's where I think you can kind of lean into that in this current phase. That certainly when I'm looking at this, this doesn't look like a fantastic buying opportunity, not financial advice, of course, that obviously the best buying opportunity was down when the UDPI was saying it was a good buying opportunity down here. But when you're all the way up here, it's saying that it's just basically saying that there's a lot of downside potential that now exists. And we know that. I mean, look at what happened the last time HBAR was up here. We ended up in the bear market going way, way down. And so it's going to be saying, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just understand there's a lot of downside potential. And so basically it's saying that as you weigh those against each other, the downside potential is quite large and you should be worried about it. But that doesn't mean the top has to be in immediately. When you have a rally that's this strong, that's why I'm saying you should always take these levels, these data points in context. When it's this strong, I'm not necessarily just going to be dumping everything just because we got to the top of the scale. I'm gonna look at other data and see what it's telling me. And does that also confirm that we might actually be at the top? And that might be the time where you'd wanna take some off the table. So one of the models that we can look at that can be really useful for this is our market direction classifier, MDC. So this is a critical level, that's this red line. And basically the idea is that when you're above it, that's bullish, when you're below it, that's bearish. 
And what's really useful about the MDC in the current type of situation is that it can really help you understand when that beginning of the parabolic move is happening, but really importantly, when that exit point might be there. Basically, when you have these big parabolic runs, when you first see that flip, that bearish flip on the MDC, like we did back here in March of 2021, that's a big warning sign. Even if you do break back above it, it's a warning sign that first time you do it, because it means that that big parabolic move has broken. And oftentimes that's a good time to be taking profits. And so really what we're seeing right now with this big parabolic move, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna be watching the MDC and see, okay, when do we get to this point where the MDC kind of runs up, catches up with the price, and then we have that bearish crossover. Now, you're not going to catch the absolute top, but in my opinion, trying to catch the absolute top ever is an unrealistic goal that's more likely to lose you money than make you money. And it's still going to get you out very close to the top oftentimes. So that's where I'm going to be looking at, that this is strong. I don't necessarily want to fade it, sell too early, and just let it keep on ripping away from me. But when is weakness actual weakness? And that was what this model can help us do. When is weakness actually concerning? So for example, here are some weakness, model didn't care, MDC didn't care. But then this weakness, it suddenly cared a lot about. That's what I'll be looking for. When is there that first sign of weakness that it cares about? That's probably a point where the vast majority of opportunity in HPAR has been exhausted and better opportunities lie elsewhere. And that's the other point that's important to note is that Really, with with an asset like HBAR, you want to catch the big explosive move, but even if it does ultimately go a little bit higher later on, it's not worth staying there if there are other assets that are exploding 5x, 10x in the meantime. So this is a really great model to watch of when have you really seen the big meat of the move and when might be a good time to consider rotating the profits. So again, not financial advice, you should make your own opinions, but that's one model I'll be watching very closely. Now, the second one I'll be watching is our Trend Confidence Indicator, or TCI. This is a model that's telling you basically in a given trend, so if you're in an uptrend or a downtrend, how confident is the model in that trend? And one of the things you'll notice about the TCI that can be quite useful around tops, let's just go back to some prior ones so we can look at it, is that you'll basically get this behavior where when they're going together, when price is moving up, the MDC is moving up with it, that's a great sign, that means you're in an uptrend. When you see the TCI fall off a cliff, that is a concerning sign, which might suggest that there's notable weakness and that there's gonna be a trend shift going from bullish to bearish. See that even here at the all-time high, going up aggressively, then down even more aggressively in this really bearish outlook through here, which led us into the bear market. And so that's another thing I'll be watching is as this explodes high, the TCI is very high right now, just basically saying we are definitely in an uptrend. I mean, it doesn't take any kind of a genius to say that. And the model is just confirming what it should be that we're in a very strong uptrend. But look at what happens when it starts falling off a cliff. When that happens, that would be another reason to start getting concerned. So that's what I'll be watching for is things like that. Things like the MDC flipping bearish, things like the TCI starting to trend down aggressively. When those start showing up, that's when I'm gonna really start taking it seriously. So basically risk is a warning sign. It's saying, all right, now is the time to really pay attention because we're at the point where not much could set off the top. Just some people taking aggressive profits, a whale selling, any number of those different things could basically end up marking the top. And we're at a really precarious moment. Could keep going higher, but we're at a moment where there's a lot of downside potential that's there. Not gonna take a lot to tip us over the edge but we'll know when that's starting or when that's happening based on these other models. All right, obviously, as I was saying before, not financial advice, you really should make your own opinions and how you think it's best to navigate things. But that's what I'm looking for with HPAR and what I'll be watching. So if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us over an excellent updates on our models and more over there. And go to our website, PlayDigital.io to see live data from our models and more.